Hey everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and this is a location video for one of the thoroughbred wild horses in-game and yeah we do show the map so don't worry about that, it's in the Heartland Overflow area and in the distance you'll be able to spot a white horse or grey depending on how you call it but it's the Dapple Grey Thoroughbred just behind that little deer over there, there's a big white thing and that is a particular horse that we are after when I went into this, I was planning on using the lasso um, to capture the horse, but I opted out of that. I decided to give it lots of love, lots of pets, and jump on its back and capture it. This is the map location, right is where we're right there is where we're standing even. And I do show the map again, just in case. Yeah, you know, a little bit close to the area. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over very slowly. I do take the lasso out, but didn't use it. We're going to walk our way over there. If you do it too quick, you scare the horses and they do run away. We're going to keep wandering over. And we're going to go back on foot. Lasso away. Usually, if it, they are in a herd, um, a horse will notice you first, and that will be the nearest one. So, when that one looks at you, and if it's not the one that you want, take your time slower. I mean, as soon as you're close enough, you can whistle the horse you want as well, after you've targeted it. It's gone to lie down, which is kind of cute. It's not that bothered. The nearest one has just spotted us. And he's run away, which, fair enough, we don't need him anyway. How are you, my friend? So we just called the horse we wanted. He's noticed us. As you approach and have the horse targeted, you'll see in the bottom right it says calm, which is greyed out. The horse is not panicking at this time. As you get closer, the horse gets more tense. And then its heartbeat raises. If you're on console, you'll feel the heartbeat through your controller. The faster the heartbeat, the sooner the horse will spook. And when it spooks, you press that calm button and it, lo it lowers the uh, heart rate of the horse. We're going to keep walking up very slowly. Keep our focus on this horse. Every time it needs calming, that's just what we'll do. I mean, I've got the lasso out here, but you don't need it. You can do it, you know, without completely. We're going to try and walk up very slowly and carefully, not to touch the horse, but go up and press the pet. I'm all right. The horse does get a little bit more reassurance. It doesn't really want to run. You can mount the horse at this time, and when you mount it, you get on its back, and it will start bucking around and trying to kick you off. As it's doing that, when we're getting there, <laughs> as it does that, you know, if it jumps to the left, you, uh, you move your left stick to the right, and vice versa. And you'll also have to keep pressing that calm button as well, otherwise it will book you off. I mean, this I call the gentle method. And I find that uh, bonding with this horse in the future will be a lot easier because we didn't like traumatize it at the beginning. I mean, some people run these horses down, throw a the lasso on them, and jump on and start bucking. From personal experience, I think that it just takes a lot less time to bond with that horse in future when you don't traumatize them, which kind of makes sense. So this is the exact spot we found it. And we've not fully got this horse just yet. What we're going to do, we're going to give it lots of pets, lots of treats. Again, this is a gentle method. This isn't the, you know, traumatise the horse kind of method. I know it's a big word, that, but we're being gentle. We're being gentle. I mean, all we need to do is keep giving it food, give it pets. We can brush it. You know, that works as well. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. 
a little icon will pop up on the left of the screen saying you've bonded level one and that is what we're aiming for. You can also, if you want to do it quicker to bond with the horse, you can just throw your saddle on. I mean, there we go, we're bonded. This means this horse is now ours. And what I do here, I head over to the nearest stable. I do a little bit of customization. I like tweaking the manes and the tails and, you know, saddles. And once we do that, we are going to leave here and just head out. And that's really it. I really do hope my video helps somebody. You know, give me a like. Feel free to subscribe. Got lots of videos on Red Dead Redemption 2. There's more coming up. Hope you enjoyed it. All the best. And happy trails out there.